I'm Adam Roberts, the executive director of Bethesda Green, and we're here at Glenway Gardens Condominiums, where we have a very important stormwater mitigation project to try and prevent flooding down here at the bottom of the property. From the beginning of the property down to here is about a thousand feet, but it's a 55 foot drop off from top to bottom. And that means when it rains, there's torrents of water that floods down to the bottom of the property, not only causing flooding here, but flooding and destroying, actually ruining the apartments down below. And the water was coming down so ferociously that it was eroding the landscape. So that's when we decided we had to do something. So I had to be the person to start learning about it and getting a plan underway. When we started working on the first project with Rainscapes, they came to visit the property and they saw that it was like a canvas just waiting to be painted upon partnered with Bethesda Green who sponsored us. We got a grant to install some cisterns and our first conservation landscape, which was 4,400 square feet. Now what we're doing is we're gonna advance the cistern project by getting it satellite controlled and we're gonna do an experimental control of some cisterns through Rain Grid out of Canada through Bethesda Green and control the release and, this, and the catching um, of the water for rainfall. Our goal is to keep 80% of, of the water that lands on this property during a rainfall on the property. And we're getting close. At Bethesda Green, we believe in developing a sustainable urban ecosystem and doing so through collaboration and partnership. And the project that we have here at Glenway Gardens is no exception. Part of our partnership and collaboration comes from the county, specifically the Department of Environmental Protection, who not only gives us general support, but also technical support in how to devise and implement the project. We've got funding and other support through the Chesapeake Bay Trust. And then of course here on the property, we have support both from the Glenway Gardens Condominium Board of Directors, the management, and the residents who realize that there's an educational and an aesthetic benefit to having this stormwater mitigation project underway. We have been blessed with a native Maryland forest. We have 400 trees now on 15 acres of property. It has a five acre footprint of buildings, so 10 acres have over 400 trees on them. And we put in 64 native trees in one area, which is in a low-lying area, which is really capturing a lot of the water runoff from our Maryland native forest. So you have to properly remediate the soil. Uh, you've got to have a good, good plan for what plants go where. And then you just have to get down to it and get them in the ground. So we'll have over 20,000 square feet of native plants out here. Then we have some other smaller projects to do, but those will be the large plantings. Bethesda Green has provided a place to meet, they've provided a lot of technical assistance, and they've provided a lot of moral support for the issues that we need to pursue as multi-family communities. We don't want to just do one project in a given community and then leave that community. We want to make sure we have the buy-in from the residents who realize that having daffodils and boxwoods and rosewoods planted is not only good for preventing flooding, but is also aesthetically pleasing, making the environment that they live in, that they come home to after a hard day's work more enjoyable. I would say that this type of project has brought the kids out. It's brought a lot of the adults out. We have 55 different cultures here in the 214 units. People see the environment differently, and we're getting them outside to understand how all of these systems work. And they're particularly excited because we worked with a landscape architect on the three uh, gardens that we're planning right now, and they have seating areas, and they have walking paths to go through the gardens. And we also are installing grills and picnic benches in the midst of all these wonderful native plants. What we've done is we've gone to putting in pavers uh, instead of having regular concrete. These are not permeable pavers, they're regular pavers. It is beautifying the properties. The property values are going up, which means that there is a return on investment for the county. They have a rainscapes program. We're putting the water quality protection charge monies to good use to save the land. We are now good stewards of the land upstream of our downstream neighbors. Bethesda Green was founded because of the intersection between environmentalism and environmental protection and burgeoning communities, increased population, increased buildings, increased businesses coming in. And we want to create what we call a sustainable urban ecosystem. 
to ensure that our public waterways remain clean and pollutant free. But we also know that the work that we do at the local level at communities like this here at Glenway are so important to making a positive difference that if we can create these conservation landscapes around apartment buildings, complexes throughout the county, we can prevent pollution runoff and ensure that water is captured at the source. Being 70 years old, you start looking at your life and saying, what am I leaving behind for others? And what I am leaving behind for the kids, we have 99 children out here, is an appreciation for nature and an understanding that they need to go out and get their hands dirty and that there's so much benefit from doing that. One person's effort can be multiplied many times over. So I take it as a personal responsibility to reach out to fellow communities and show them what they can do because one person can make a huge difference.